Due to popular demand, today is an all sink or swim episode. Ari and I are going to review two sites and tear them apart, and we're going to follow up on a previous redesign. Stick around and watch us work. Episodio número 46. I think that's the right episode, right? That's the one, yeah. It's like an announcer at a, at a, at a horse race. At a horse race in Latin America. America. I am your host, Jose Kevler. I am the chief. I'm the chief educator of uh, digital agency, the group, and also the CEO. I'm joined every week by Ari Dimon, who's a cre creative director, your freelance creative director. Ari, how are you doing today? Good. Thank you so much for having me. Kurasan. Kurasan. <laughs> in Japanese, you're leaving to Japan next week. Yeah, I'm going to go gonna for, uh, yeah, for a little bit. But awesome. we're going to do the episode uh, remotely. Everyone with, uh, from Japan. There you go. So actually, you should call in, and it should be an episode of like Iron Chef. Well, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Awesome. It, from Japan, we have Ari Dimon making com doing commentary. So we want to go right into it um, and get uh, going into the review because we're going to review and actually work a little bit on some right. of the sites. So I want to first kind of take a look at who they are, etc. Before that, I want to remind our viewers to like us on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash TWI web design. And equally important is going to be Twitter, the Twitter. Uh, at Jose Cavaliers for mine and for the show, which you also get announcements and you're going to get things, you get things about the producers program, etc. Is this week in web? So at this week in web, just as it sounds, then at Jose Cavalier, and you can see them below, uh, Facebook.com/slash TWI Web Design. And if you go to thisweekinwebdesign.com, you can find out about the producers program. We're getting some really good kind of feedback. I spent a couple of hours yesterday answering questions on the producers program, Ryan. How's it going? I mean, I like it. It's going great. Yeah, we're actually, the best part is we have a bunch of people asking questions of the other producers. We finally have enough producers where it's not just us talking. So we're starting to build a, a little community where people can kind of answer each other's questions. So That's great. we got to get a couple more designers in there. We got to get uh, Jose to find some more time to get in there a little bit more often. But, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's actually lot. worth every penny. I mean, the people who are executive producers have gotten direct access to me. I've met with some of them. Uh, we've gone over some of where they're going and what they're trying to get uh, to. Uh, and last two weeks ago, we had a few people from the producers program here on the show. So is it worth the 100 bucks or worth the 50 bucks? You know, mm -hmm. is it worth the money? It's a big question. I definitely think it is. Am I worth the money? Is it, am I worth the money? All right, so we got a consensus. So let's get going right into the two sites, starting out with site number one by uh, Mirage Patel from Edison, New Jersey. Uh, his Twitter is at PS Mirage. Mirage Patel from uh, New Jersey, which is the hometown there of Edison, actually, literally, the electric, uh, electrical genius. Uh, what do you think, Aria? Infused Designs. Uh, it's the name of his uh, web design designs. practice. But the, the site we're looking at is Caster Dent. Oh, got it, got it, yeah. So I have it up on my screen, you have it up on your screen. I'm looking at it. We, we are recording. Yes. What do you think? Um, I, I think it needs to feel a little cleaner. That's kind of like my, my initial. What do you mean by that? Um, like the gray isn't really working for me. You know, it feels a little muddy. Like I, I was, exp you know, I mean, white teeth, like white shiny. And That's interesting. Kinda... I had the same reaction. Yeah. yeah. The gray feels odd. It like feels, it feels... Odd. It, it's, it makes it muddy. I don't know what it is. It, it makes it feel dirty, personally, to me. Um, okay. That, I would like to see like, nice. you know, more open space. I like the font, by the way. So just to, for me, I would say, well, you know, you go first, actually. No, I think that's fine. I like the font, too. I, I just think that he's using the same font everywhere. Over and over again. Over and over again. And, and like the font, I do like it. But if maybe he just used it for headlines or something and, and maybe use something else for the text, like I'm having a little trouble reading uh, where it says like Castor. Like Castor so yeah, can switch there. it there to... You know, Lucida, Lucida or, uh, Ariel, Lula. even Verdana, Verdana, which might match well with that slab serif. Right. Place. Slab serif fonts are really in a uh, in a uh, vogue right They're in now. vogue, yeah. And it looks like he used it looks like he used a template, either WordPress or let's see if we can find out. Uh, do you know view let's developer see. view source? If this is I'm pretty sure it's either WordPress or Drupal. Doubt it would be anything else. Um, he's using 960 CSS, which is great. Um, uh, Ari, you, you check through and, and tell me what you think in terms of what. Uh, I'm going to go into the. I'm going to go into Professor Jose Designer Design Review. So, uh, Mirage, first of all, thank you for watching the show and thank you for all your uh, uh, input on Twitter. Really appreciate it and really enjoy it. So, so I'm going to give it a, a general review, starting with the really great things. I think you did a great job at. Um, 
you did a great job at um, the fonts and at using a really good template. Uh, you're doing a great job at architecture and kind of some of the key things. The imagery is really great in the center. Uh, it, you know, it reflects families. You know, where the best in family dentistry is really clear. I actually like the tooth, the tooth. The tooth. What the fuck is the tooth? The tooth. Am I speaking? That's I, good, man. English good. is my second language. Okay, moving on forward. I'm sure it would be in Espanol. And then we'll have some merengue music. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome back. No, bienvenido. Uh, sorry, all right. The, 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 the tooth. The, the tooth. The tooth. Yeah. The tooth. Right, how about saying it calmly? The tooth looks kind of cool. I do like it. I, I like, like how it, it kind of yeah. wraps over the, 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 the shape. Um, I don't know if that was an existing logo or if you actually did that logo. I think that's a really great job. Uh, the caster itself is a little too uh, awkward. I think the font that's not working there for the logo itself. It needs a little, a, tiny, more space a little bit more space. Too, yeah. Oh, look at the pull down menus. And then that top nav at the top doesn't really need the circular buttons around it. No. So I'm going into a more detailed kind of uh, review here. The white, definitely keep it white. Don't do gray. And if you do gray, do a really light gray or do something else. Do but, like, like tone on tone, like white and very Yeah, white and white, white, tone yeah. on tone. Like yeah. you, even, you know what, even if it's a dentist, it could be like a, could it be tan? I don't know, probably not. Like a light no, gray, I think super light, light gray. gray. More white, 90% white, 10% gray, how about that? Yeah, I, I found this site actually, that I was just like browsing really quickly, let me text line it Line spacing, you. open it up. Right now all your line spacing is really tight. I know you can do that in CSS. Quite just easy. for like the tone on tone with the little like minty kind of like highlight, I love that. This site, I just sent you a link on Skype. It's a, a guy called Your Own Showin. It's his portfolio site. I just clicked the about and I really liked how the what all the white space and how he treated the topography and how it's tone on white tone on tone and it's got like one accent color like that little minty green i thought it was kind of cool so it's, it's white and white it's white yeah and you white. know what? that's a nice job and you know what the black and white photography works really well it does doesn't it yeah and it's clean but notice that there's a lot of open spacing yeah uh you know in in the in the uh there's a lot of openness in the in the design that, that you just mentioned Ari and the, the one that we were looking at here, the dental is really tight. And, yeah. and don't use the same font for everything. Like vary your font. Definitely. Like use Lucida or use Arial or use even. Like you have, you have to set rules, right? Like you say all the headlines are going to be this font and then all the body copy is going to be this. And that's usually how I do it, right? Like buttons and interactive elements are one style and then body copy is another. And, and so just so like you can follow through, yeah, so you follow along. Do we have any examples of like identity style guides in the, uh, in the, in the producer's program? Um, we don't, I don't think we do. We should upload some. For, for, for Mirage, I'm going to upload some examples of identity style guides for you. Uh, if you join the producer's program, that's a deal right there at any level. I'll have a, a, a standard style guide. So you can see what he's talking about, which is segmentation. Versus right. having everything. So right. let, let's um, let's move on to first of all uh, something that 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 uh, I, actually I was flipping there through um, through my uh, browser windows. I saw my GoDaddy domain manager um, and and whether you're doing a site for a dentist or whether you're doing something like what I'm doing, which is we don't necessarily register uh, uh, domains for our clients, but you might actually register domains for your clients. Uh, when you're about to do a project. Uh, we have done it, but what I primarily do is I have a lot of the permutations of my business ideas. So group school, uh, you know, I was thinking of, uh, you can see it right here, and I've even bought like friends of ours, <laughs> I've bought their, their names. I've and clients them. too, yeah. Yeah, I just buy it preemptively. Say, so, hey, by the way, I own that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but of course you're gonna give it to them, you're not gonna be crazy. Uh, but all of these, Agile by Design, you know, dorkshenary.net, which I love, you know, I, I keep them all in my domain manager on GoDaddy, and right now GoDaddy is giving you 10% off any $40 purchase. So if you get a lot of ideas all at the same time, and you want to register a bunch of domains, and you want to do a $40 purchase, go to GoDaddy.com and use the code WEB40. There's a $40 bulk. You know, that actually will buy you a good chunk of domains. If you're if you're buying right now, I need to renew about 12. Uh, can I use it, Producer Ryan? To, to, I think so. Hi. Not quite so bad. I'm going to use it for my $40. Uh, I, I spend money pretty frequently on GoDaddy, so it's great to have that. Um, so moving on to uh, past GoDaddy there. GroupFoo.net, that's actually a really cool one. GroupFoo, G-R-O-P-F-O-O.net. Brilliant. So let's move on to the next uh, 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 one that we want to look at. 
And so that's before we go. The sink or swim. We didn't say ah, that. We didn't you know, say I, swim. I, I haven't yeah. said anything positive about it. I, I just want to say that right now at the end. Like, I think it's a solid site. Mm -hmm. It works. So I'm going to give it a, a swim because there's really, I mean, all he needs to do is adjust the typography and maybe the color, and it's fine. I agree. If he does white and he adjusts the secondary typography, right. he'd be fine. It's a very solid site. He did a really great job you know, adapting the template. Good job with typography. It needs 20% more of work. To get it to where it is, it is a swim. Two, two thumbs up. Swim. Swim. All right. Moving now to landscape fabric. And this is coming from at Casey Will. At Casey Will from Miami, Florida. We have a few viewers from Miami, Florida. And let me know if you, I would love to actually go to Miami, Florida and do group school there. Um, it would be a lot of fun, uh, especially since we have a great Cuban American and uh, uh, Hispanic community. I'll do one in Spanish. Uh, no, I have not done Greek school in Spanish yet. So let's look at this one and, and, and just off the top of your head, you know, Ari, first of all, what do they do? Yeah, that's the, that was kind of what got me too. I mean, eventually, insulation. yeah, it's, it's about like fabrics and insulation, I guess it's kind of what it is, but it took me a little bit to figure that out. Um, I, I think like there's no really big sexy product shot anywhere. That's kind of what and I it's, want. And it's to. trade. It's a trade site, so it's industry. Right. Uh, weed control fabrics. I wonder what that's for. Control. Oh, I'm sorry. That's for that's for uh, plants. <laughs> All right. Uh, woven geotextiles. All right. So it sounds pretty uh, business to business. It sounds like it's not something necessarily that that's I would like to run into. Right. Uh, so for landscaping, for you know, overall, just at first reaction. You know, I'm not sure if, uh, if Casey uh, or Will uh, did did the um, identity for them, like the trademark logo, the trademarked logo, etc. Uh, it's I, I I like it. I don't know if it does say what the business does well enough. I mean, it is obviously a mark for the trade. It's a UK company, so I'm curious as to how right. from, uh, Miami. That's an interesting client, but it seems like it's a really large site in terms of. Um, I'm gonna guess based on past experience that it's gonna have a lot of inventory kind of uh, 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 issues, meaning you have to have the products, you have to have SKU numbers, you have to have a cart, you have to have you know checkout, all these kind of things that make a site like this pretty much about development right. or a lot of it about development right. and ensuring that all that stuff is really solid. Upsell, you know, things that are upsold. The, the one thing I'm noticing here real quick is that the, the social buttons really don't match. The social buttons are throwing me off completely. Yeah, they're like, whoa, like, whoa, 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 what the heck Here's is some that? cool social buttons that I found. Let me put them on there. They're too crunchy uh, for, for, unless you have something like that in the rest of the language. I feel, I mean, I, yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I think they're like totally like out of left field, like, whoa, it has nothing to do with the rest of the site. Plus they have that grungy texture, right? So it's kind of like, wait a minute. But, but, but here's the tough side. How, how do we judge this? You know, and how would you judge this, Ryan? Um, the, 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 you have con the context of it's in the trade. It isn't, it doesn't need to be sexy. It is clean. Mm -hmm. It is functional. It does do what it needs to do. You know, is Casey, you know, I want to know what his role is. I want to know what you did on it mm -hmm. specifically. Um, how involved you were in the information architecture of the site. Uh, how involved you were in the development? Was it developed internally? Are you part of the team internally, or are you doing this for them mm -hmm. as a vendor, contractor, agency? You know, how exactly are you doing that? Um, uh, it would be good to know because all of those things affect Absolutely. You know, how I would actually. And if it's just let's go pure design, just pure pure design uh, and pure content, like as we see it, first stab. I don't like the the outline of the trademark. No, um, I think it looks kind of weird. Yeah. So when you when you go green on green to just as a logo, green on green just doesn't work well. Um, you know, th there's a all right. Take it over for a second. I'm gonna look for a site that really does a really great job. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at a page, the foil insulation, and I'm looking at one box, and then there's two boxes, and there's three, and there's four, and there's like so many boxes along outline the place. Outline happy. Like, He's very outline happy. Yeah, there's like a lot of containment. Getting rid of some of that would be good. I don't know what this bar is for. I don't even know what it means at first containment. Like, it might be Drupal, and that's. No, I don't think those are Drupal standard models. I don't know. It but, could be that it is a theme. It needs a little bit more work on, on the front end. I don't know. Yeah, that's. I, 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 I'm curious as to whether it's Drupal or not. Like um, he couldn't get rid of the module, but yeah, just that, took out. That the he had to do customization. Right, and right. Did, yeah, it was a last minute kind of thing. And, and, was, I, and personally, I feel like even though it's not the consumer facing site, um, I think they could use better product photography. Yeah. 
you know, For just sure. definitely. I mean, you always want to highlight the product overall. Like, I would almost push back on the actual web design and focus on the product photography. Right. What if you don't have it? I mean, I think that a designer yeah. in this scenario or a developer even in this scenario is not going to have a lot of control. Right. And the type of businesses that, that, that you know, what, what, you know what I'm hoping for is that what we do here will allow for a higher level of sophistication uh, across the board where you have corporations, brands, and kind of uh, uh, to, to have far more higher levels of sophistication. Uh, what I usually see is that small businesses um, have the tendency the small businesses that you see having really sophisticated design have the tendency to be that there's someone in the circle, in the family. Like my brother, for example, he, he's trained at Razorfish, he's a computer science guy, he's trained with me. When you see the stuff he does for car dealerships and for you know, small businesses in Puerto Rico, it has a higher level of sophistication than what you would usually get. Mm -hmm. Now, how do my goal right. with this show and in general, how do we get that higher level of right. sophistication? That's really Just by dialoguing point. and communicating mm -hmm. and That's a good point. sharing that with people. And yeah. I think also, like, it depends on mm -hmm. what when you get it, like what you just said, right? Like if you're just a web guy and you get everything and you have no control over it, well, there's only so much you can do with it. The trick there is like figuring out a way where you can get into the process early on enough and have influence over that decision. Photography, or, and, or, photography. or even to do a style guide and send it out to all the different, totally. this, might be a, this might be a marketplace for different vendors. This is not like one person keeping it, one company keeping inventory, meaning that all the inventory is coming from different places. So you might have to set standards and guidelines. I do like that big ass tout, the U-foil yeah. one. And I, I suspect that it's coming from the company that forget traditional hard to install and toxic insulation, yeah. bubble foil. It, it's, it might be that this was given to him by the companies marketing department, or I'm wrong because it's also green and... Um, For me, I, I just feel like the, that, that top bar, if there was just a stronger identity, and if, even if that top bar was like a dark, dark green, and then that, that logo was adjusted a little bit to pop out, and then everything else underneath it has the kind it of green... It looks a little military, tan. doesn't it? Yeah, I feel like there needs to be just one thing to yeah. help bring the identity of the entire place out. Color, you know, and I think that the previous site had the same issue. I think sometimes developers and designers or developers specifically that are very left brain have a hard time or, or don't like to uh, use too much color. Home Depot, so here's a really great example. Mm -hmm. They use color, it uses orange. Look at the product photography, dude! It's just like, BAM! Well, it's also a Cyber Monday, so they're really putting a lot into that. I, I actually a lot of respect for the Home Depot mm -hmm. site overall, even though it's very producty. So, so sink or swim nice on, 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 on uh, the work uh, the landscape uh, trademark kind of UK site. Uh, it, it, I'm torn. Uh, I'm torn because there's things there that are just not like leaving that bar at the top with nothing in it. It's just not pro. You know, here's the bottom line. I, I think that if even in a trade scenario, push yourself, Absolutely. push yourself to kind of even for a UK company who should they have fairly high level of sophistication in UK design wise. I would push this to be a lot better. Um, it, do a second iteration, do a third iteration, work on the product photography, push the people who own the business to just make it be world class and look at your big competitors. Just because you're small or just, this might be a huge company. They might have a huge amount of revenue and, 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 and they don't care because it doesn't actually impact their revenue. They just want people to buy their insulation stuff and that's really what it is. But I think still it's our responsibility as designers and developers to totally. really push the Especially push, the way like, things are being pushed out there now that websites don't even look like sites anymore. They're like amazing with amazing photography. Like you can't design things like five years ago, ten years ago. Yeah. You so I, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a, um, let's say it at the same time. One, two, three. Sync. sync. There you Whoa. go. Whoa. Oh, oh. All right. So Casey will, at Casey will, Really sorry uh, about that. Um, that's it. I mean, we just, you know, just take another pass just at take it. Take another pass at it. Totally. Simplify it. Work with the stakeholders. Uh, keep on submitting it to us. We'll help out. So let's do the recap uh, or let's do the revisit of Horsepower Calculator, which you did, Ari, on episode, what episode oh, yeah. was that, right? Well, uh, 42 43. Uh, uh, I have a special, right? So it's a sink or swim special, 43. Bam! He actually did it. Do you have the original kind of... Let me look for it. And, look, and, um, and, and or it's even on the show. So my first reaction is like, awesome that he implemented it. I'm curious whether or not... Uh, you Did you give him the logo? 
I didn't give him anything. He did this all by himself. I don't know how he did it. He must have screenshot the video mm -hmm. or something. Well, you should have just asked you for the PSD. Next yeah, time I would have given it PSD, to him, yeah. Ari would have given you the PSD. It would have saved you a lot of time and money. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, I, so I'll just start out right, right away and I'll go bam, 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 bam. So great job on the replication. The photography of the engine block is a little fuzzy. Maybe a better photograph. Uh, the let's get started, I like that it's big, but the let's get started part is too big inside the green square. Very small technicality, make it smaller. Uh, I like the icons, more power, maximum safety. Type could be a little smaller there because I think it's becoming hard to read. Uh, it could be the font that's hard to read. Um, overall, I mean, I was really impressed with the implementation. There's some, some wonkiness going on there at the top. But Ari, you did the original design, what do you think? I mean, I think your, your comment about the typography is right on. Like, I think in the one that I did, I just had that wonky font in one place, and he's kind of using it over and over a little bit, which isn't working super well. But overall, I mean, I'm super stoked that that he liked it enough that he would go Can and... Can you do a side-by-side -side comparison? So yeah, I have it right here. We should keep a side-by-side -side compare at all times. Side-by-side. Side. And, 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 and in the side-by-side -side compare, you know, get your designer whoever that might be and uh, I think and he did it himself he said on YouTube oh, he did it himself. yeah which I thought was pretty just impressive look at the side by side and kind of you know mirror a few more of the kind of components I think like scale. just clean up the typography a little bit you don't need to use the wonky font everywhere and get a better p picture of the engine which he did mention that the one that I put was like a single cylinder like <laughs> bicycle <laughs> it was a small engine I have a two stroke I have a two stroke I have a I have a half a horsepower engine well but you want to talk about a lot of horsepower Chrometa yeah, that's true. That's a lot of horsepower. That is some serious work. The more horsepower. I use it, the more I go, wow, it's got so many more features. Like, what? I spent that many like that many hours in, in this task? That's awesome. It's going a long way, and, and I'm, uh, I'm in love with Chrometa, and uh, I can't say much more than that. I mean, go to app, app.chrometa.com, app.chrometa.com, and check out Chrometa. I've had people ask me about Chrometa in terms of timekeeping, so we're using it to keep our time. Uh, here at the group, uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm using it every day. Like I go in at the end of the day, and then I like categorize like these many hours of Photoshop was for this project, this other, and then it gives you reports like between this date and this date. Tell me how much I worked on this project, and it tells you right there the hours. Is, is perfect. What are you spending most of your time on? Um, it's mostly do. Photoshop, but there's a surprising amount of time that I spend either like in Google Mail, like in Gmail or a go-to meeting, or even like just referencing things like if somebody gives me like, uh, you know, my balsamic wireframes, like I spent a lot of time was. like just looking, looking at, at it. it and looking at it and looking at it again. Um, and at least I have a way of tracking it because if I have it printed out, there's no way. And there's no way you could actually do this much tracking with on your own. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, I'm pretty stoked. Every time yeah. I'm stoked. I was thinking right. when we found out CSV files last week. I don't think we made a big enough deal about that. Then it exports, yeah, yeah, files. exports out files. So like, what we should awesome. do one of these weeks is do a comparative analysis of what I, my time is being spent on right. and, right. and what your time is being and spent on. And like what we've we'll done here so it. far for the mm -hmm. for the project, you know, for the redesign of the this weekend. Sure, sure. Like yeah. What have we been doing during the process? It's, it's almost like a like a like a forensic mm -hmm. like analysis. recap and analysis right. of your day. It's like CSI yeah. web. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a little short That's episodes. Awesome. Pro Meta, CSI, CSI web. web. So, Ari, it looks like you've been in balsamic vinegar all no. day. No! <laughs> balsamic vinegar. Balsamic. balsamic. <laughs> Which balsamic is uh, another great, balsamic. great show. So, so we're going to wrap up this segment. Um, I would say a swim for sure a swim. on the HPC site. Especially it's because of how site. much it improved from the previous iteration that he had. and, and you know. I, I think it's awesome. I think it's um, great. And, and, and do, do we want to work a little bit more or do we want to wrap for the half hour and keep it half hour? All right, cool. So we're going to wrap up this half hour segment and then we're going to come back and we're actually going to work on it. Oh, let's do work now. Oh, let's do work now? We have seven minutes. Oh, we have seven minutes left. Yeah. Ah, but you want to keep it a 30 minute yeah. episode? Absolutely. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go back to Caster Dental and what we would do for, uh, yep. for uh, uh, Mirage Patel from uh, SM New Jersey. What would you do? Let, let's actually battle here. I'm going to do a screenshot. Cool. Um, Actually, can I do a screenshot with this little application? Uh, I have this little application from, um, it's called uh, All Page Screenshot. I used a few, I'm not sure I like this one too much. Stop. Processing, processing, processing. Oh uh, man, cancel, go back. Retreat, retreat. Darn it. So by the time that Ari is done, Ari will be done by the time I even get to the page. 
So what do you think, Ari? I mean, talk me through what you would do. Um, I think the comment about the, the top nav, like those pills, we don't need the pills. So do you know just, what the font is? Uh, I don't actually, but you can check it out if you have a... You know what we should do? We should do the same thing we did last time. Like we should split the role. You can split the structure. I'll work on the identity. Okay. I'm going to work on the logo because I, I think I, I really like the, uh, the little tooth. Tooth. <laughs> I can't pronounce it right. Look at that. I already had the screenshot. Full page. And here we go. Open that in Photoshopy. Um, one of the things that, that uh, one of the things that um, I think it's important to kind of note uh, is that I, I don't know how to describe it, but the the subtle this design is actually the subtleties in it are, are great, and it, meaning meaning this that it's it's good when you don't fuzz around too much with a template. You know what I'm talking about? Like don't don't overcomplicate it or don't. Absolutely. Uh, like I think people sometimes overwrought something. I don't know if that makes any sense. So the biggest issue with the logo, and I'm going to just freestyle it. And in Photoshop, I'm not a fan of designing identities in Photoshop, but just because it's already in Photoshop, I'm, I'm going to do that. Is to open it up and what, this is a free. This is a font. What, what's the font alright? This one is one of the. It's one of the free. I bet it's free. Let me. It's just one of the check free. It it's one of the free open source ones from, from check in the code. And see where he's getting it from. So I'm gonna use. Um, well, Google has a, that kind of Firebug plugin already built in, so I can just kind of like right click it. Right, but my question and is what, what the font is now, so that I can do it. Right, right. I'm walking through the process of like that. I'm gonna follow to. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna use the same exact one, but I'm gonna use Interstate, which for you, it's the same font. The city. Actually, no, this one's a little cooler than the one he's using. Um, Interstate is what Citibank uses. Um, uh, it's what, what uh, TechCrunch uses. Is it? Yeah. No. Oh, Interstate is what TechCrunch uses. No, I'm asking you what, what did Mirage use. I don't know, actually. I can't figure out how he embedded it. It's an embedded font, yeah, it's so an embedded let's see font. if we can figure it out. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, deal with the issue of the letting. Um, and you know what? I'm not liking Interstate. I don't know why. Um, and, and font selection is definitely not an easy thing to deal with uh, on the fly this quick, but uh, I like the challenge. Fedra Sands, which we use for another project. That's what usually will end up happening. You use something for, uh, for another font. And, oof, that's awful. Uh, well, you know what? Let's say I think that the font for this dental care, since it is it has a slab serif, uh, uh, Man, we should like click and clack and tap it, brothers. Man, we should not be stumped <laughs> by the font. They do that stump the chunk. That's true. Uh, There's just so many of them out there nowadays that. But what I was gonna say is to consider the possibility of using a uh, of using a uh, a serif typeface uh, just because of the uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it looks the problem is that people see it as a little bit more older school, which is not necessarily the case. Um, so I'm going to do the secondary thing. I'm going to do the dental care. All right, time us down, time us down. This is like, like I love uh, uh, five minutes. I love the pressure of counting down. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, <laughs> so 12 point. One thing too is that dental care is too close to the rest of it. Does that make sense, Ari? Yeah. All right. God dang it. Can I, I, I want to say that the font's with an M. Uh, it, it's Matt. Is it Museo? It, no. Is it, it's not Museo. It could be. No, it's not. That should be an episode. Font Wars. Font yeah. Wars. Ari versus Jose. Damn. Yeah. And actually, that would be great because then I, I always like to do font research for a project mm -hmm. and just look at what's available. So, 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 so the, uh, man, free embedded font. I'm going to assume that he's using an embedded font and then in the next four minutes, uh, try to figure out a uh, 10 great free embedded fonts. I've seen it before. It has this kind of, uh, no, 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 no. That's interesting. Tallies. Oof, man, some ugliness going on here. Uh, 
funds available for fund embedded when funds are in from 23 in general. You know what, I'll post these, I'll, I'll tweet these right now, um, or I'll tweet them for tomorrow, so different places to find fonts. All right? Um, but it, I would try looking on uh, Google Web Fonts. Really? But I, uh, I was unable to track down Founders what it was. Lab. Did you guys I, ever use uh, whatthefont.com? Yeah. Ah, what the font. It's also fun to say. What, what the, the font? font? Uh, it's a great app. All right, so so it, for the sake of time, uh, whoa, check that out. I'm gonna go back to Interstate, which has use Fader. Really? Yeah. It what? matches it nicely, I think. Well, I, you know what? Interestingly enough, it kind of does. Yeah, it kind of does. It's a little bit more open, actually. Yeah. So, uh, but I'll use a medium. What well, what it needs is it needs to be a little bit more open. It's too close to. It is too close to the. Uh, it is too close to the. Uh, to the. It's too close to the to the logo mark. So I'm gonna just cut the logo mark out completely here. And again, it's easier to do this in Illustrator. And here we go. And we got two minutes counting down. Counting down. Two minutes. Two minutes. All right, this is like putting a dish together and you're about to serve it. You mm -hmm. spend all that time. No, nah, dude, I'm not, I'm not digging Fedora for some reason. Um, I, I'm just gonna go for interstate because I also have the bold. Uh, just to show him the point about opening it up a little bit. And it's sometimes, you know, kerning between some of the characters is an issue. And what I'll do is just so that I can replicate uh, what he currently has, I'll just keep the background gray. So notice that it's just a little bit further away, which is better. Uh, and then the dental care, it wouldn't be a bad idea to lighten it up a little bit um, versus having it be. And you know, and when, what, one thing that is annoying is that if you're using gradients on your logo and on your website, don't, don't necessarily use gradients on your logo, and also on the logo, more on the logo type. Like, you know, be, be a little restrained so that everything doesn't look the same. Um, all right, so. There's what I'm talking about. You know what? That looks better. That looks is a little farther. It looks. Uh, uh, it'd be great also to see the the uh, physical location and what they look like. So thank you guys for joining us today for a swim course swim episode. Um, don't forget to submit your sites. Just tweet us at either the my Twitter at Jose Caballero or at the this weekend uh, web Twitter address uh, or on Facebook. Uh, anytime if you want us to review your sites and to give you input uh, and to like today do a little bit of live design so it's really great to have you guys join us we will catch back up on the Drupal redesign next week with um, the team with uh, Jacob Patasi with Ari myself Ari are you going to be on, uh, on Skype on Skype yeah great we're going to continue the redesign of the This Weekend Network uh, thank you for catching us on this special episode of All Sink or Swim and we will see you next week when you watch his work